Cell, Structure and Functions Chapter 6 Introduction A cell is the smallest part of the body of an organism which able carry out all the basic functions of life, like metabolism, growth and reproduction. It is the structural and functional unit of all known living organisms. It is the simplest unit of a living being and is also called the building block of life. Cells may be compared to bricks. Like, bricks are assembled to make a building, similarly cells are assembled to make the body of every organism. All living organisms are made up of one or more cells. Discovery of the Cell Cells were discovered by Robert Hoke in 1665. He observed a thin slice of cork under the microscope that he had invented and saw that it was made up of many small box-like structures. These boxes appeared like a honeycomb. The boxes were separated from each other by a partition. He called these boxes cells. However, the cell discovered by Hook were dead and only cellulose walls were visible. He actually observed only cell wall. Fig. Cell in cork is seen by Robert Hooke. In 1674, the first living cell was seen under microscope by Antony van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch scientist who discovered that cells are moving freely. He could also see some minute components within the cells with the help of his improvised microscope. Competition window. Some important landmarks in the history of cells 1665 Robert Hooke observed a slice of cork under the microscope he had made. He used the term cells to describe the honeycomb-like structures he observed. 1650 to 1700 Antony van Leeuwenhoek observed nuclei and unicellular organism. 1831 Robert Brown described the nucleus. 1838 Schleiden and Schwann developed the cell theory, which describes the cell as a basic structural and functional unit of life. 1855 Virchow showed that all cells are formed from pre-existing cells. 1930s, with the development of the electron microscope, the detailed structure of cells became known. Viewing an object under a microscope. To see any object under a microscope, the following points need to be considered. I. Prepare the slide of specimen or object. To be seen. E. Adjust the microscope for viewing. I. Preparation of slide. Objects to be viewed under a microscope are placed on a thin, transparent slide. Slides are made through the following steps. The glass slide is cleaned and placed on a flat surface. The specimen is placed, mounted, on the slide. A drop of water may be added for mounting living cells. Stain or dye may be added for better contrast. Some common stains are iodine, methylene blue, crystal violet, saphonine, etc. Specimen and creates a smooth surface. A little drop of glycerin may be added to avoid drying of living cell. A thin, plastic cover slip is placed over the sample. This cover slip protects the E. Adjustment of microscope. The mirror is cleaned and the slide is placed under the lens. Now, the microscope lenses and eyepiece lens to be adjusted and focused in order to get a clear image. Microscope can be adjusted according to the magnification required for low power or high power. Theory Cell hit that all living organisms, whether plants or animals, are made up of cells was elaborated the concept that Alan botanist Matthias Jakob Schleiden and British zoologist Theodor Schwann. They put forward the cell theory of life. The main points of this theory are follows. All living organisms are composed of cells and products of cells. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. Cells are basic unit of structure and function in living things. 
Cells have similar structure and metabolism. The functions of an organism are due to activities and interaction of its cells. Activity corner. To study onion skin cells. Materials required. One small piece of an onion, tweezers, glass slide, glycerin, water, cover slip, staining reagent, a microscope. Procedure. Cut a piece of the onion. 1. Using the tweezers, peel the thinnest possible layer of onion skin from the given piece of onion. E. Gently lay the skin as flat as possible at the bottom of the slide. Moistening the skin with a few drops of water may make it easier to flatten. E. Now, put a drop of iodine solution or methylene blue on the peel. Transfer the stained peel to another slide. Put a drop of glycerin over it and cover it with a cover slip with the help of a needle. IV. Observe the skin through the microscope, first under the low power and then under the high power. Versus. Right pointing arrow observation. Large number of cells with clear cell walls are seen which are arranged side by side just like bricks in a wall. A nucleus is distinctly visible in the center of each cell. Conclusion, the basic component of onion is cell with a distinctly visible nucleus. Variations of cells. There are millions of living organisms. They all have different shapes and sizes and consist of different types of cells. Living cells show variations in size, shape, and number, leading to the vast variety it fatuant. Number of cells. Different organisms have different number of cells. For example, human body has trillions of cells with different shapes and sizes. On the basis of the number of cells present in organisms, these are classified as unicellular and multicellular. Organisms, such as amoeba, paramecium, euglena, and bacteria are made up of single cell. These are examples of unicellular organisms. Although made up of a single cell, they perform all activities necessary for life. They grow, move, digest food, give out wastes, and reproduce. All these activities are carried out by a single cell. Plants and animals that can be seen with the naked eye are made up of many cells. They are multicellular organisms. All multicellular organisms begin life as a single cell, which is the fertilized egg. The fertilized egg cell multiplies and the number of cells increase as the organism develops. In a multicellular organism, the levels of organization are as follows. Cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, right pointing arrow organism. Table. Differences between unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. S. No. Unicellular organisms. I. Organisms are made up of one cell. E. One cell carries out all the functions. E. Death of one cell leads to death of the organism. IV, unicellular organisms do not show levels. Of organization, V, examples, amoeba, bacteria, paramecium, etc. Multicellular organisms. Organisms are made up of many cells. Different cells carry out different functions. Death of one cell does not lead to the death of the organism. Multicellular organisms show various levels of organization. Examples, man, cow, dog, etc. Competition window. Levels of organization. In multicellular organisms, different cells carry out different functions, hence the workload gets divided. In unicellular organisms, work gets divided among different cell organelles. This is known as division of labor. 
The bodies of multicellular organisms are organized into different levels to coordinate function. Cells. Cells vary in shape and size depending on function. For example, a cheek cell is different in shape as compared to a muscle cell. Tissues. A group of cells similar in structure or performing a similar function form a tissue. For example, cells which form the lining of the skin constitute epithelial tissue. Organs. Different tissues work together to form an organ. This organ performs a specialized function, e.g., kidney helps in excretion. Organ systems. Different organs with different structures work together to perform a function. These organs form an organ system, e.g., excretory system. Organism. The functioning of a body is governed by separate organ systems, constituting the organism as a whole. Shapes of cells. The shape of the cell varies from organism to organism. In most cases, the shape is round. However, in some it is irregular, as in amoeba and leukocytes, whereas in bacteria, the shape is rod-like, spiral and comma-shaped. Some cells are long and thin, for example, muscle cells and nerve cells of multicellular organisms. Shape of the cells varies considerably in multicellular organisms. They may be flat, columnar, elliptical, spindle-shaped, cuboidal, polygonal, and so on. Their shape is as mainly determined by their function and position. The shape of the cell may be mostly fixed or frequently changing, as in amoeba and in leukocytes, white blood cells. Amoeba has no definite shape, unlike other organisms. It keeps on changing its shape. The projections of varying lengths protruding out of its body are called pseudopodia, pseudo, false, podia, feet. These projections appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feeds. The shape of leukocyte remains spherical during circulation, but in other conditions, destroying germs, it becomes irregular. Cells sometimes are quite long like muscle cells. Their long thin shape helps them to expand and contract. Some are branched like the nerve cell or neuron. The nerve cell receives and transfers messages, thereby helping to control and coordinate the working of different parts of the body. Ciliated cells from the lining of the nose have hair-like projections called cilia. The sticky mucus and the lashing movement of cilia keep the dust and the germs away. Competition Window Factors governing the size of the cell Filled right pointing pointer ratio between the volume of the nucleus and the cytoplasm Nucleocytoplasmic ratio Ratio of the cell surface to the cell volume Rate of metabolism. Not all cells in our body grow and divide throughout life. There are some cells that do not grow in number after a certain age. For example, the cells in the skin of our body grow and divide throughout life, but brain cells do. Not grow in number after a certain age, that is, after 18 years. Cells have a fixed lifespan and are replaced automatically as they die off. The more active the cells, the shorter the time it will live. The lifespan of certain cells are Skin cells live for 19 days. Sperm live for 2 months. Eyelashes live for 3 to 4 months. RBCs live for 4 months. Liver cells live for 2 to 4 years. Bone cells live for 15 to 25 years. Size of cells The size of cells in living organisms may be as small as a millionth of a meter, micrometer or micron, or may be as large as a few centimeters. Most of the cells are microscopic and not visible by naked eyes. Table Variation in cell size S. No. I. Egg of an ostrich. E. 
neuron e rbc cell size largest cell in world 170 millimeters by 130 millimeters longest cell in our body up to one meter smallest cell in our body seven to nine micrometers iv pplo or pleuro pneumonia like organism bacteria cheek cells amoeba egg muscle cells fig cells have different shapes and sizes skin cell smallest cell in the world 0.1 to 0.5 micrometers nerve cell competition window growth and division of cell when a cell is formed it is small after digesting food it grows in size however its growth is limited after reaching a certain critical size it divides to form two cells the process by which new cells are formed is known as cell division the new cells formed in this way are known as daughter cells new cells are needed for the growth of an organism and to replace cells that die some cells in our body keep on dividing throughout our life in a human body millions of blood cells die and are replaced each second the skin cells also keep dividing however nerve cells of the brain cannot be replaced once they die this is why the body can heal injuries in all parts of the body except to the nervous system. Cell division is of two types, mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division in which a cell divides and forms two daughter cells each having a nucleus containing the same number and kind of chromosomes as the mother cells. The process is divided into four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Meiotic divisions ensure that all the cells of an individual are genetically identical to each other and to the original fertilized egg. Filled right pointing pointer meiosis. Meiosis reduction division is a type of cell division that gives rise to four reproductive cells or daughter cells, gametes, each with half the chromosome number of the parent cell. Illustrations. Give three examples each of unicellular and multicellular organisms. ANS. Unicellular organisms, amoeba, paramecium, and euglena. Multicellular organisms, hydra, frog, and man. Are the cells in an elephant larger than the cells in a rat? ANS. The size of the cells has no relation with the size of the body of the animal. It is not necessary that the cells in the elephant will be much bigger than those in a rat. The size of the cell is related to its function. Structure and function of cell. The cells of multicellular organisms vary in shape and size, depending on the site and function they perform. Plant and animal cells show certain differences, but most cells have a similar basic structure. The cells are covered by a cell membrane and in plant cells, an additional covering over the cell membrane is present, which is called cell wall. Inside the cell is the nucleus and a jelly-like substance called the cytoplasm. Many small structures present within the cytoplasm are called organelles. Cell membrane. Cell membrane or plasma membrane is the outer. Living covering of the cell, present in both plants and animals. This living material protects the contents of the cell and gives it a shape. It is sometimes called plasmalemma. It forms a demarcation between the surrounding medium and the content of the cell. 
The plasma membrane is essentially made up of a double layer of lipid molecules and protein molecules. It is a thin, delicate, elastic and selectively permeable membrane. It is selectively permeable because it only allows substances needed by the cell to permeate or enter into it. Substances not needed by the cells are allowed to go out. The movement. Polysaccharide chains on outside of membrane proteins. Hole through which protein molecule forms a pore. Phospholipid bimolecular layer. Fig. Plasma membrane of substances across the cell membrane takes place by osmosis. However, the movement of carbon dioxide or oxygen across the cell membrane occurs by a process called diffusion. Diffusion is the process of movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to region of low concentration. No energy is used in this process function is regulate the movement of the wastes. It to anal functions, its main function is to regulate water and throw out the wastes. It also helps to maintain the proper composition of the cell. It protects the cell from external injury. Cell wall. Cell wall is present only in the plants. This additional cell layer is required by plants for protection. Plant cells need protection against variations in temperature, high wind speed, atmospheric moisture, etc. They are exposed to these variations because they cannot move. Cell wall is rigid and surrounds the plasma membrane. Unlike the plasma membrane, it is a non-living structure made of cellulose which gives strength and rigidity to the plant cell and is freely permeable. It is secreted by the cell for the protection of cytoplasm and plasma membrane. Bacterial cell also has cell wall. Functions. Its main function is to provide support and strength and to determine the size and shape of the cell. You know. Filled right pointing small triangle filled right pointing small triangle the cell wall in plants contains cellulose. This cellulose acts as roughage in our diet and therefore is very important for us. We cannot get roughage from animal foods, as animal cells do not contain a cell wall. Endosmosis and exosmosis. In cells, water molecules may diffuse into the cell or out of the cell, depending on whether the cells are kept in a weaker solution or in a stronger solution respectively. The process is called osmosis. It is of two types. Endosmosis, endo inward, is the inward diffusion of water when the surrounding solution is less concentrated. This brings about swelling of the cell. Exosmosis, exo equals outward, is the outward diffusion of water when the surrounding solution is more concentrated. This brings about shrinkage of the cell. Activity corner. To show the process of osmosis. Materials required. Two eggs, two bowls, salt, dilute HCI. Procedure. Put the eggs in two separate bowls. Remove the egg shell by putting the egg in dilute hydrochloric acid, HCI. The shell of the egg is made up mainly of calcium carbonate. A thick outer skin, called shell membrane, now encloses the egg. To the first bowl, add tap water. To the second bowl, add a saturated salt solution. Observation. After some time, it is seen. That egg in first bowl has been swelled up and that of second bowl has shrinked. Conclusion. The passage of water into and out of egg occurs by a process called osmosis. If the egg is put in pure water, there are more water molecules per unit volume outside the cell than inside. In such a case, osmosis causes water to enter the cell and the cell swells. However, if the cell is put in a concentrated solution of salt water, the number of water molecules per unit volume are more inside the cell than outside.
In such a case, osmosis causes water to move out from the cell and the cell shrinks.